Meantime, Arizona's GOP battles for election integrity. Here's the latest as Republicans appeal cases before higher courts and demand Maricopa County hand over voting materials. This election is far from over. Anyone who is telling you differently, whether it's in the media, whether it's the Democrat talking heads or whether it's the Republican establishment is just avoiding the facts. The Republican chairwoman for Arizona, Dr. Kelly Ward, refuses to back down from the war on election fraud. Ward took to Twitter Saturday, slamming the supervisors in Maricopa County who refused to hand over voting material from the 2020 elections. Some of the county's board members stated the subpoena issued by the Republican-led state legislature could compromise private voter information. But Ward fired back, claiming county officials are choosing to protect Dominion's voting system instead of voters who were disenfranchised because of election fraud. The issue is now on its way to the court, where a judge will decide whether or not to enforce the subpoenas. This comes as state lawmakers issued two subpoenas to Maricopa County Tuesday in hopes of attaining electronic images of all mail-in ballots and performing a forensic audit of ballot tabulation equipment. Meanwhile, other efforts against election fraud are underway, including two legal cases being appealed to the higher courts, one of which the GOP hopes to bring before the U.S. Supreme Court. Our case should, is now docketed by the Supreme Court, and it should be going forward. We will find out if they are going to accept it and if they're going to allow us to have expedited consideration. The questions that are before the court in this case are, number one, is the safe harbor, the so-called safe harbor of December 8th constitutional? Did it allow enough time for us to discover and uh, expose anything that was going on related to our presidential electors? The court has yet to confirm if they will take on the case.